हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू माय चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल स्टार्ट ए सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर ऑन वीएलएसआई टेक्नोलॉजी इन माय चैनल दोज हु आर नॉट चेक आउट माय चैनल प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन हाय वेलकम टू वीएलएसआई टेक्नोलॉजी In previous class, we talk about the crystal growth technique like Bridgman technique and CZ technique. We also discuss about the main drawback of Bridgman technique and why we generally use CZ technique. We already talk about this topic. In the last portion of the CZ technique, we saw that the pull rate must be very carefully handled so that i get a single crystal right so in this session our main focus about on pull rate which is very accurately and very carefully controlled right if we pull up the pull rod very fast you may not get a single crystal and if you pull up very slowly you may even get the seed crystal melted okay so the pull rate is very important so in this session we talk about the pull rate so let's start our session so what is pull rate the growth of a cz crystal involves the solidification of atoms from a liquid phase at an interface the speed of growth is determined by the number of sites on the face of the crystal and the specifies of heat transfer at the interface this figure represents the transport process and the temperature gradients involved okay so this is the temperature gradient solidification and transport phenomena which is involved in cz crystal growth technique position m and n represent the location of isotherms associated with the crystal solidification at the interface okay this is the solid uh, this is the, the this portion is solid crystal portion and this portion is liquid crystal portion okay impurity atoms are transport across the boundary layer this is the boundary layer bl this is the boundary layer and incorporated into the growing crystal interface in the melting point so this is the temperature gradient solidification and transport phenomena which is involved in cz crystal growth technique right so the heat transfer condition about the interface can be modeled by this following equation what is the equation that is l dm by dt plus kl dt by dx1 a1 equal to ks dt by dx2 a2 okay so this is the heat transfer condition in the interface where l is the latent heat dm by dt is the mass solidification rate t is the temperature kl and ks are the thermal conductivity of liquid and solid dt by dx1 and dt by dx2 are the thermal gradients at point m and n this is the m and n point right that means thermal gradients at m and n point means at the interface in the liquid and solid okay respectively and a1 and a2 are the areas of the isotherms at positions m and n okay so this is the pull rate equation 
in this equation or by using this equation we can easily identify the pull rate right so from the equation l dm dt plus kl dt by dx1 a1 equal to ks dt by dx2 a2 the maximum pull rate of a crystal under the condition of zero thermal gradient in the melt that means dt by dx1 equal to zero which can be convert by mass solidification rate to a growth rate using density and area where v max is the maximum pull rate or pull speed and d is the density of solid silicon okay so in this way we can easily get the maximum pull rate of the pull rod that is v max equal to ks divided by ld dt by dx okay so here we end today's session with this we have to come to the end of our session thank you i hope you like this video thank you friends if you like my video then please do like share and subscribe my channel फिर मिलते हैं एक नई वीडियो के साथ थैंक यू